Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Uh, we're going to keep going on Business Central. So, <laughs> uh, the new name, which I hope will stick and uh, stay. Uh, is D365 Business Central and that's basically Nav in the Cloud and uh, I've done a lot of Nav videos um, but uh, even though the cloud version has pretty much everything that NAV does I'm still gonna go through it because I'm sure there's a whole lot of people out there that are just getting into this for the first time um, so all right so here we go uh, it, Right now we're looking at NAV um, here. This is the D365 BC. Let me get it right. It's gonna take a while for me to get used to this. But anyways, um, so if I go here into items, uh, I have an item list and I actually created an item uh, in previous video. And then I created a new instance of this uh, demo. So now my item is gone. So I'm just gonna quickly create it again. I click new here. One of the nice things compared to the old system is that we get pictures uh, of the items right away off the bat. Uh, and you can, of course, look at list view, but pictures are nice. So create a new item here. Uh, use the item with no sales tax template. Uh, I'm going to create a coffee mug again. Uh, just to go over that. Uh, and I mean, this is pretty much it. All I have to do is give it a name and it's the base unit measure is here. Of course, I can put it into an item category and give it a cost and all that. But I really only just need to give it a name and I'm in. Obviously, since this is so picture oriented, I would like to upload a picture of it. So I'm going to go into picture import uh, and choose a picture out of my pictures right here. Uh, see? Before we do anything, we have to have coffee. All right, I know there's a lot of people that watch this that probably do not drink coffee, that drink tea instead. I'm not a tea drinker, I'm a coffee drinker, but uh, but I have no judgment. So whichever you drink, good for you. All right, so here we have an item created. And I'm gonna just close that out. And the whole idea of this was to go into purchasing. I'm actually gonna put this in a purchase order. So I go into purchasing, purchase orders. I kind of like how this jives, this uh, menu system. It looks kind of basic, that it's just kind of drop downs with these arrows. There is no graphic behind it. And it drops down straight into like a sub menu right here. And then I go straight into purchase orders. Very quick, I, it's elegant, um, minimalistic. So in here, I have a list of purchase orders. So I'm just gonna create new. Oh, we do have Fabricum. Uh, still, it's good. So I'm going to pick the vendor. One of the interesting things is that uh, in this new system, uh, all of the old demo vendors, customers have been changed. But Fabricum used to be there and still is. So I'm going to just click on that one. By the way, I'm creating a purchase order right now. I go into item. I want to find my coffee mug. Uh, it's the first one there. Actually, if I start typing, it automatically filters on that, which is nice. And just as a comparison of the previous system, I would have to click on uh, looking by description, but apparently this automatically does that. So kudos on Microsoft for that. Obviously, we rather type in the name rather than finding a number. Uh, so location code, uh, let's just get this into, oh, sorry, let's get it into the blue location. Oh. Here we go again. I'm so used to the blue location. Blue location is gone. We have East, Main, and West. Okay, well, let's go to Main. Um, and we're going to get 50. And we're going to pay a buck for each one of these. These are really nice. And uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to put in the invoice number from the vendor because I already got it. ABC1234. And I'm going to book this. So go ahead and post like so. Do you want to receive invoice or receive an invoice? So here, for example, for those who don't know, 
We can receive the inventory and leave the order open to actually put the invoice in separately. So we receive it in the warehouse, but we haven't gotten the invoice from the vendor. Or we can receive an invoice at the same time. We cannot invoice first and then receive. That would just make no sense. Acknowledging that we owe somebody something before actually receiving the inventory. So um, that's what these options are about, just to refresh your memory. Uh, now the order has been posted, move to the posted purchase invoice window. Do you want to open that up? Um, sure, let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's the posted purchase invoice. It has been received. Everything looks good. Um, so let's close this out. Let's take a look at the item again. Let's go to the items. So let me see. We can just go back here into Cronus and into my items. Um, and so now I have this coffee mug and we have 50 pieces on stock. Success. And let's take a look at that. Uh, this is the item. Let's navigate into the entries and the ledger entries. Here it is. It's in the main location. Uh, it, the cost amount is $50 for this. I can actually click on the cost amount and I can get the value entries. So these people that know NAV know that this is very similar, if not identically the same. Uh, and we just got some inventory for this item. So it has been purchased. All right, so I hope you got something out of this. You can see that the purchasing and creating an item is very easy, very simple. Obviously, I didn't do any fancy stuff like attributes and categories, and maybe I'll jump into that in the next video. Uh, but if you got something out of this one, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, what's wrong? Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.